Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and in today's video I'm going to be sharing how I set up and organized my new car. Now you guys, I know that on this channel I'm pretty much mostly known for creating awesome lunches. But what some of you might not know is that I also have a passion for organization and I used to make a lot of organization videos in the past. I put out my first car organization video about three years ago and in that video I show you how I organized our big family suburban. But in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I organize our new car which is a much smaller car. For a long time we were a one car family but we recently purchased this new used Kia Soul and I am loving it for things like running errands, taking only one or two kids different places, and it gets a lot better gas mileage than our Suburban. So some of the items I'm showing today are purely for organization, while others in the car I put there just to be cute because you guys know I love everything to be as cute and fun as possible. So you guys go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you're new, give this video a big thumbs up, if you're excited to see a video that's not just lunch related. And without further ado, let's get started. So like I said, you guys, this is a Kia Soul. This is my first time owning a Kia and so far I'm loving it. When we bought it used, it had really low miles and it was in really good condition. So for this tour, I'm going to start in the front of the car. As you can see, I have this really cute Mickey Mouse steering wheel cover. I found this on Amazon. In fact, most of the things I'm going to show you in this car today came from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link the products down below if you'd like to check them out. Now, as you guys can probably tell, this is definitely a Mickey and Minnie themed car. Of course, I love Disney, but now since we live about 15 minutes away from Disney World, I decided to go wild with the Disney theme. And since we live so close to Disney World, just about every store in the area sells Disney merchandise, so it's everywhere. And you guys, as I'm driving around town, I often see decked out Disney cars just like mine. So it's kind of a normal thing here in Florida to see cars like this. Now this tiny car technically has six cup holders, but over here are the main two. And as you can see, I've added two jumbo silicone cupcake liners. Now you guys know I use these a lot in my lunches, but they also work really great in the car for cup holders. That way if I have any spills or any crumbs go down in there, I can just easily pop out the silicone liner and wash it and put it back. Another feature I love about this car is my phone mount. I often use my phone for GPS because I'm definitely directionally challenged. And since we've moved, I definitely need help finding my way to places. So this phone mount actually inserts into my CD player and since I don't often use my CD player this is great and believe it or not I actually found this at Ross and it was like six bucks. I really like that this phone mount doesn't attach to my dashboard or my window. So over here on the driver's side door I just have a couple of things. First I have a flashlight just in case of emergencies. This is actually a headlamp so I can wear it and have my hands free if I need to. And then in this smaller pouch I have extra batteries and charging cords for my phone. Over here in this little center tray I have my keys. Since this car is actually a push to start I just leave my little key here while I'm driving. And then right next to it I have my Mickey hand sanitizer and I like to keep it here so I don't forget to use it. Now over here on the passenger side, I have some really cute Mickey Mouse tissues. These are nice and handy, because I don't know about you guys, whenever I need a tissue, I need a quick. And then in this section, I also have my Mickey stroller hook. We have a couple of these now, and I like to keep one in each car. And that brings us to the glove box. I have a lot, a lot of stuff in here, but it's really very organized. I have these three clear storage bags that, again, I found on Amazon. And these actually come in three different sizes. In the first bag, I have things like aspirin, eye drops, floss, Q-tips, and emergency. That's like the vitamin C drinks. In the second bag, I have things like sunscreen and deodorant, extra lotion for my hands and things like that. And then in the largest bag, I keep things like some makeup removing wipes, a little can of hairspray, a little bit of dry shampoo, a brush. I also have some little hair clips and rubber bands in there. Because you guys, the weather here is very unpredictable and sometimes my girls and I will be needing a brush. 
Next, I want to show you this center mesh bag. And you guys, this is one of my favorite organization items for this car. This is the perfect place for me to store my purse when I'm driving. That way it's not rolling all over the floor and dumping out. And you guys, this actually clips to the headrest and it has adjustable straps. So this type of thing will work for a lot of different kinds of cars. It keeps it up and out of the way and it also helps keep my purse from getting dirty. I like to put the purse in this little back section and in the front section I have a perfect place to put my Minnie Mouse ears while I'm driving. They fit perfectly right here. Now that brings me to my center console which is a lot smaller in this car than it is in our Suburban. But as you can see, I still have a lot of stuff in here. I have a really cute little Minnie Mouse lip balm. I have my favorite mints. I keep an extra magic band in here in case we ever lose one at the park. And in this little cup that I got from the Dollar Tree, I also have an extra lipstick. I have some of my favorite essential oils. I have some extra pens my garage door opener. And then to check this out, you guys, I've reused this old gum container to hold change. So my change isn't going around everywhere and I always have a quarter ready to go when I go into Aldi. And then over here on my passenger visor, I have an air freshener from Bath & Body Works. And right now this just has the vanilla scent in there. Now I'm a huge fan of the vanilla scent and of course, I love the little rhinestones on the outside of this too. Another thing that comes in super handy in this car is my visor organizer. This really can hold a lot of stuff, but right now I just have a little pen. I have some spaces for cards, so I just have things like gift cards, and I have my annual pass in here, so that's ready to go. This is also the perfect place to put receipts or papers you need to hold on to. You could also put CDs, and then of course I also have my spare set of sunglasses here as well. So here we have the back seat. Now as you can tell, this car isn't big enough for all four of my kids. So if I'm going to take all of my kids, I'll drive the Suburban. And of course, depending on who's coming with me in this car, I might have to throw in a car seat or a booster seat before I head out. Over on this side, we have another cup holder. This is the perfect size for water bottles. Then I also keep my sun visor in here. And you guys, this is so cute. Again, I found this on Amazon. It gets extremely hot here in the summer. So I'm hoping that by putting this in the front of my car that it'll hopefully keep the temperatures down a little bit. But mostly I think it's really cute. And of course when I'm not using it, I just store it right in here. And then in the center here, it has this really cool car trash can. And this one's actually made to go in vehicles. So it's nice and soft, but it's also waterproof. And there's a little bit of Velcro on the bottom of it, which keeps it from sliding around in the car. Oh yes, and it's also strapped around the center console. So again, it's nice and secure and safe for the car. Now over on this other side, I like to keep an extra package of baby wipes. I like to get these little smaller packages for the car, that way they don't dry out as quickly. I find these at Walgreens. And then I also have a couple of spare pull-ups because you never know when you might be needing an extra one. Over on the door, I have another pack of tissues. So I have one for the front of the car and for the back of the car. And then over here, I also have room for another water bottle. So that's pretty much it for the back seat. Now I'll take you all the way to the back of the car. Now, definitely a lot smaller than the Suburban, but that's okay. In here, I like to keep my collapsible storage bin. In here, I keep my emergency water. I have extra umbrellas. Umbrellas. It rains a lot here, so these definitely come in handy. I also have a full first aid kit. And then over on this side, I like to keep my reusable shopping bags. Now over here in Florida, they definitely aren't as strict on shopping bags as they are in California, but I still try to use the reusable kind as much as I can. And then over on the side of this storage bin, I have some emergency snacks. So these are just little packets of nuts, kind of like trail mix, but there's no uh, chocolate in there, so I don't have to worry about them melting. And I know that these won't last a really long time, but I like knowing that I have enough snacks for everybody in the car just in case of emergencies. Then over on this side, I usually keep empty depending on what I'm doing. I might put my groceries there if I'm going to the grocery store. 
But right now I just have our park bag in here. And if I need to, I can also fit my stroller back here as well. So there you have it guys. Super cute, but super functional. I am totally loving this new car. It's my little mommy mobile. I hope that this gives you some inspiration if you're looking to get more organized in your vehicle. Again, links to these items will be in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.